instruction, protect you there, obey my command, give me a clean fight, no punches behind the head, watch your head coming in. Let's go, let's do it. Oh, that's right, let's do it. This has been on my calendar, this particular fight, Utayev and Stanionis. If you love prize fighting and two guys that come from similar regions of the world, well then lo and behold, look at this one. As Utayev's from Russia, Stanionis from Lithuania, expect this one to be a tremendous battle. And these are two fighters, right, that are very familiar with each other. They came down things 10 years after they fought for a second time in the amateurs. Both fights in the amateurs went towards Utayev on points, but both very close, and obviously both have grown a ton in those 10 years since then. This is the most shredded that I've ever seen Stanionis, and Utayev looks to be in significantly better shape than that of when he fought Jamal James, and not to say that he was in bad shape whatsoever, because he was in great shape, but it just goes to show you the magnitude of this fight because of what they know they're up against. On the upset, Stanionis, tremendous shape, a big fighter, and Samuel said it, in the Jamal James fight, when he was watching it, he felt that Jamal James tired out. And that's where Butayev was able to take advantage. He felt that Jamal James was, there's a great body shot from Sanyoas that hurt Butayev there. Butayev looking to respond back, but I find it to be interesting that at least in the first minute or the first half of this round, it is Danionis who is the one coming forward trying to put Butayev on his back foot. So will that be the case throughout the period of the fight? I think Stanionis already looks tremendous. He's using a jab. That jab is snapping a lot to Butayev, and that's one way to stop that pressure that Butayev likes to apply to his opposition. And then he's also going down to the body. And that's one thing I really like so far that I'm seeing with Stanionis. But Butayev is heavy-handed and likes to wear you down over the course of time. A lot of people thought, you know, it was such an even contest. It was going to come down to whose chin is going to hold up throughout this entire fight. Good stiff jab by Stanion is under a minute to go here in the first. I really love that jab. That jab is working extremely well for him to be a different beast with his jab just snapping. And right now, that's been the best punch of the fight so far for either fighter is the jab of Stanion. What an excellent fight through the first couple rounds. And the action is only picking up. Both men throw with such bad intentions because this is no such thing as flicking off the jab. Everything that they throw has bad intentions written behind it. There's a big right hand that both men connected on. I think Stenyonis got wobbled for a brief moment, but then was able to recover. He almost smiled because he knew, he was like, okay, that was the first shot that, you know, it woke me up a bit. Like a cup of coffee that I need in the morning to be able to wake up. just continuing to hammer away and pound on each other. Total power punches landed, thrown through three. Utai of 29 of 77 for a 37 connect, connect percentage. Stanion is 24 of 55 for a 43 percent connect percentage. So that just goes to show you, Miguel, how close they are when it comes to the power punches thrown and landed, Utaya being the busier of the two, Stanione is being the more accurate out of the two. Absolutely, and I think that third round should give a little bit more time. I think Utaya now is trying to find the second gear, and you're starting to see him, I think, get frustrated as you 
see Rafael Ramos was continuing the war in Butaya from his forearms and the pushing the head down. That to me is a sign that Butaya is slightly frustrated with the way this fight is going thus far. And now he is starting to use some of these tactics to bother and halt the momentum of the But well, has got, I think, some thoughts underneath his eyes. But, and Rafael Ramos warning Butaya about pushing the head down because you pointed out, Miguel, that the frustration is beginning to mount for the champion in Rata Butaya. As he was punched on times, I said, oh my goodness, not because I was against it, because that's a significant moment in the fight. That only adds to the lead of Stan Yonez, and that could be significant, theoretically, that might have clinched Stan Yonez, the world title, if he stays upright in the 12th. Absolutely, and this was a round that Uchaya was actually looking really good at. He has Stan Yonez weary, and now Stan Yonez just lit up Uchaya. What a fight. There's a left hand that has done Butaya here. Tremendous stuff. What an absolute battle. Does not want to leave any doubt in the minds of the judges. There's a left hook again that connected for Stanionis. Talk about being major. This is a moment if you are a Montez Danionis. And this may be the fight that will elevate Stanionis. And there's a big left hand that appeared to knock Stanionis back a bit. I think this is the kind of fight as we're over the halfway mark of the final round where it sort of introduces a Montez Danionis to the masses. We knew that he was really good, but this is the fight to say, guess what, ladies and gentlemen, I have arrived and I got the goal to prove it. Absolutely, a new player in the welterweight division. And I'm oh, big man. Oh, my goodness. Stan Yonis with the left hook. Stan Yonis might have Butaya hurt, but Stan Yonis continues. Butaya swinging wildly and throwing like we have a gut fight at the OK Corral for crying out loud. Both men exhaust bullets in the proverbial chamber, and he, regardless of if he relinquishes his title, I want to see Butaya again. Nobody, I'll tell you this, nobody wants to fight Butaya after this. Not with left hand that landed for standing on his top right foot. What a chip Butaya has. He almost went into the front row. Absolute brutality from both.